is Jalen Rose. And I've got your EA Sports Halftime Report. The Cavaliers have built a comfortable lead. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. These are the guys getting buckets for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Rockets may be in the building, but they did not show up for this game. At this point, it's all about pride and mental toughness. A comeback is not impossible, but it's also not likely. Game track. Steals. The Houston Rockets have already given up a number of steals in this game, and that's indicative of a careless attitude. That must be corrected immediately if they want to have a chance to win this game. Ball control was at its worst in the opening quarter. Here's a look at the first half stats. Player of the half. Crowder has the defense figured out, and his shots are falling for him. That's a lethal combination that will be hard to overcome. What's the cold? What can you say about a guy like this? Except that he fits the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in that first half. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Second half, it's about to get started. I got him, I got him. Paul against Rose. Hey, right, 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 right. Blows past his man. Oh, rejected by Rose. Did he get there in time? Yes, offensive foul called against Crowder. To Harden, whistle sounds, out of bounds, so it'll be Cavaliers ball. Listen, they're losing for a reason, and that reason is turnovers. James on the drive, inside on the dribble. Oh, is he feeling it? Raise your hand if you've seen this story over and over again tonight. Dribble penetration, allowing the ball right at the ball. basket. I got ball. It's a loose ball. It's deflected, and they come up with it. Derrick Rose's whistle for the foul. Offensive. Ryan Anderson will get the inbound in here. Harden against Wade. Oh, excellent screen. And James Harden with a nice shot for two. And here's the replay with another look at that great finish at the rim. The best way to make a comeback in the NBA, wide open threes, layups, dunks, free throws. You do that by getting the ball at the basket. To Rose. Off the dribble, attacks the goal. Oh, sweet spin and lays it home. And here's another look at that spectacular play. Capella. 
Harden's looking to get free off the screen. Forced to make the pass. Hall against Rose. To Harden. There's the double team. Nice adjustment. Oh, well, he tried to put it in off the glass. Hey, it's been one of those nights where nothing's been easy for them in the paint. Terrific team defense forcing that miss. To Capella. Tied up, has to make that pass. Pretty assist from Trevor Ariza. James against Ariza. That's a catch and shoot for three. Rebound handled by Anderson. Here comes the help. To the basket, flips it up, draws the contact. Yep, it's a foul called against Love. Now it's time for two free throw attempts after that foul call. I really like what I saw there. Good strength. Good athleticism, took the foul, got up a nice shot, just didn't roll in. Get back on the miss, get back on the miss. Entering the game for Houston. Able to convert on both free throws. James working at the point. Tied up and has to pass to Rose from three-point land. Unable to convert from the three-point line. For the layup. The defense doesn't react. They give up the easy basket after the offensive board. Time and time again, penetration at the basket, good finish. That is why they're blowing this team right out of the building. Ball comes loose, turns it over, nobody there. And the Rockets make just one substitution here. So much activity on the board from Tristan Thompson. And he's been working hard around the rim here today, using his positioning to get the boards. To Gordon. Screen set nicely. Paul. Into the paint. Shot clock expires, a 24-second violation. Look, it happens. Shot clock violations are part of the game but they're ones that you have to constantly try to erase these type of mistakes. You need to get shots at the basket and not have the clock run out. Lazy pass and a turnover. To Paul. Good. Off the quick release from Chris Paul. And here's another look at that three-pointer. You give this man time to set his feet, he's going to knock the three-point in time and time again. Shut down. Forced to make the pass. Off the glass. from LeBron James. It doesn't get it much easier than that. Uncontested layup at the basket. Forced to make the pass. Sloppy ball handling. And there's a steal. Gets to the rim. Scores. Nice move. When you're playing with a big lead, your players cannot take possessions off. And I like the example that this unit is showing. Forcing a turnover and then not resting, not conserving energy, pushing the ball and getting a transition opportunity. To the basket, makes the adjustment and gets it to go. That one deserves another look. Here comes the replay. I love watching the attackers in our league be able to adjust, adapt, and then ultimately finish at the basket. Boy, they need to get something going here. It's a loose ball. Tied up, has to make that pass. 
Gordon for two, lets it go. It's good. Nice jab step to get the shot. Bad pass taken away there by the name. From beyond the arc, Trevor Ariza with a perfect pass. And here's the replay with another look at that tremendous play. Stay with us for more NBA on ESPN after this short break.